Oh man, okay. That was a heck of a time last episode, drawing things and then doing things with those drawings. I wonder if this episode will have any more of that. Uh, well, I'm slightly curious how one gets up there, but I have a feeling it's just going to be I go up there through a door and then I come back down that way. Like that. I have to. This game has issues with the... Uh, the stop this game is awful. <laughs> It's weird to me that this game, like the core platforming engine feels so much better to me than in the first game, but all the rest around it, well, that's not holding a direction. All the rest around it just feels so consistently unpolished. You need to remember you can do two jumps off the ledge, not just one. No, I didn't even see you there. Jeez. Come on. Alright. Nice springs. There's a guy down here. Why so many stamps? Like, uh, I just wish you could have made a collectible that I was actually excited about, that I would have actually wanted. It just feels like such a missed opportunity to do anything that would have made me feel like I really wanted to explore and find stuff. Not that I've had to go out of my way to find any of these things over anyways, which it may or may not stay that way. We are still quite early in the game. And I'll still try anyways, of course. <laughs> I pressed the stomp button before I hit that Baki for what it's worth. Okay. I've seen one well, of those um, in town, actually. It's not, not thank you, thank you, not what I need. So just outline this whole thing. I don't know if I need to connect those parts for it to be one rigid shape. There you go. At least it lets you draw a little bit outside the area and still just hug the edge. Yeah, it's crazy how much you have to lead your stomp in this game. If you want to actually hit stuff with it. So what you saw there was me pressing B just as I crossed the threshold of the edge. Like you move like a whole character distance. Like the whole width of your character essentially. Before you actually do the stomp. If you're moving to the right. Even if you're not moving of course it's still a problem since. Something else might be moving beneath you, you might need to do it at the particular timing. How many stamps are on their level? Jeez. 
Although I will say, it's like the DS version of the next chapter had a particularly fantastic collectibles and the uh, coins either. Seeing as those, uh, Joey, how, why are you here? Seeing as those just unlocked a couple more tracks to buy for music in the shop, which I already saw them in the game. So. Why do you feel that now is the time that you needed to say that? Well, okay. I don't know why Joey just did that. Anyways. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. Why do I want health right here? I guess because there is a Baki. Because it's directly in front of the, the door. So that's what happens if you slide in the wrong direction in this game, apparently. And you just keep holding down and just slide forever. But if you slide in the wrong direction, you actually move back in the wrong direction a bit afterwards, too. Okay, game. Ooh, what's on the... It's like the AOL logo. This I, I see what's supposed to happen here, which entertains me. But I have very little faith in my and how it's going to work. If it does work, I'm going to be very entertained, though. This is clever. You don't just have color here, we got physics colors. Uh, you kind of tried. Oh boy. Yeah, you do kind of have to actually launch yourself. That is amusing. And it doesn't work especially well, but I'm, I'm amused enough by the idea that I won't complain. I like that. Alright, what the world are you? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Darn it, game! It's not giving me more stuff to not draw with. Give me a palette. It's the one thing that I want. Or anything else that can actually be used to draw stuff. Not to not draw things by using a template or we'll just do absolutely nothing with, with stamps because they never fit anywhere. Ugh. Seeking on polish, I still can't believe these loading screens. I'm curious if anyone has anything to say about what I've been doing. Farmer Brown presumably has something to say. Yeah, look at he's all fiery with passion. So, like, does it matter that I do these things? And why does it still say I have zero coins in the corner? I figured that would be the amount of money that I managed to... Yes, you have. Just ignoring the previous game, I guess. And the previous game is explicitly canon. Because we talked about... About Wilfer killing... Mary's dad and everything. Anyways. Yeah, it's just weird how, how the coin... I fear that coin total would be, like, the stuff I could spend at Isaac's shop, but... Yeah, it's kind of implied we have to find... What's his name? Um... Sasha first. I feel like I should talk to all the others again anyways. Um, in part... Eh, that's not the word I'd use for Zoe. Joey. 
But um, I want to make sure no one else has quests to get me for the next level. Oh, well, you already got the car. Oh, Mary has stuff, I guess. Yeah, maybe I have to go back to her between each level. It's kind of a decent walk, but... It's just not the sound I imagine coming out of Mary, but okay. I already knew that. <laughs> Everyone else is so un uninterested, they just walk away at this point. Okay, and that's just the end of that discussion. Okay. Yeah, there's the physics block there, which I don't think I can do anything with. I feel like a few things here are interacting with each other. Anyways, you still have nothing to say, it looks like. In fact, absolutely nothing to say. Okay. Is it ever nighttime in this game? Do I ever get to see the moon? I don't know if it might be a system clock sort of thing. I feel like I should be able to go on top of there. There you go. There's no impact when you hit the ground with a stomp either. There you go. Sometimes there isn't. Anyways. Isaac, I guess I have technology again. Yeah. Why are you... Why? I get... Maybe his voice is has so much reverb because he usually speaks inside his store or something? I don't know. It's really silly sounding. Bye. These are such strange places to end these conversations. Just like, oh, get into the window or something, dude. Seriously. Cricket, do you have any opinion on this matter? Well, you're not doing a very good job of it, but I know that's kind of your deal. That you never find or never manage to catch Sasha. Anyways. Anything new, Heather? I'm still convinced it's more the other way around. But anyways. I'll, I might poke around at the sports game at some point just to try one of the... I think there are other main games to try. I don't remember especially well. Uh, I doubt you have anything new to say. That's of like any interest, but yeah, just same thing. I know if they if they are all sparkly, that's the indication they actually have something of like substance to say in the sense of like giving me um, a quest or acknowledging me having completed one in return for nothing so far. Apparently, I'm still not sure what the point of that is. I also can't see from here which stuff I've completed, which is weird. Next chapter DS also had that problem. Which is weird in contrast to the first game, which had a very good habit of telling you all those kinds of things. <laughs> What's with this multiple learning screen thing? This is very silly. There you go. Yeah, I got both those things. Is it? It's not plus to pause in this game, it's minus. That's very strange. This game just doesn't seem to follow usual control conventions for... Dude. Dude. For the Wii either? It is very odd to me. Anyways. Next time we'll head on to the next level, which I believe this is the last episode for me to record today, correct? Yes. Okay. So next time, I'll probably be refreshed and more in the mood to draw stuff again. Jeez. And... We'll head on to the next jungle level. I did kind of feel in the first game, like... The different settings kind of overstate their welcome. In part, just because I didn't think they were very interesting. I feel like this game's kind of doing the same. I didn't mind at all in the... In Drawn to Life... 
next chapter DS because one, the levels felt like they had more distinction between them, and two, I just found the overall themes of them much more interesting. There are more distinct things like, hey, here's this like European style place that also has beaches and has a music motif and also has like pirate ship you can go on and stuff like that uh, and so on. I thought they were really interesting, whereas this seems to be going back to the less inspired take the first game had. I don't know. Anyways, hi everyone. This music is kind of pleasant here. I haven't noticed this, the music much other than right now, I don't think. But this one, this one's pleasant. I like it. <laughs> 